Hello and welcome to Paranormal. I'll be doing a new series on this game in honor of our uh, favorite candy litten holiday, Halloween. Uh, this game is supposed to be really spooky and really scary, so uh, let's jump right in and see what's going on. hear the full recording this time around. I picked this game up on uh, Steam. Uh, about 10 bucks. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Uh, it's out on early release right now. Um, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, let's jump in. It's uh, Friday, July 1st, 2011. Hello, my name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. Lately, things have been going bump in the night. A lot. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. This is the studio. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I picked those up at Amazon. They help me visualize the 3D space when I'm working on my sculptures. There's some works in progress over there on the mat. Hopefully something will happen here in a second. I'm really trying to show that this is real and that I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. Looks like I'm in control now. Oh, wow. This is creepy already. Oh, we do have a flashlight. That's nice to know. Yeah, look at these mannequins. And you're listening to the graveyard kid. If you're outside, expect the rain. If you're inside, turn off the lights and enjoy the scene. Some music. Here's my art studio. Really kind of weird looking sculpture there. And uh, this guy, let's see if we get a better look at him. Whoa, that's actually kind of neat. I'd buy that. Let's see, to do list finish Atlas. Fix basement walk, fix screen door jam, clean car, put groceries away, take bath, Google home history, trash dog food, watch TV, sleep the day away. Um, that wasn't me. Now, I, I typically don't play games like this. I've had some uh, poor experiences with uh, ghosts and stuff in my day, so uh, I tend to leave these kind of games alone, but I figured it's Halloween, uh, perfect time to play a spooky, creepy game. Dishwasher's running. So far, nothing too creepy is happening. What's this? July 4th, 1984. I hear the fireworks outside. As the people likely stare and wonder, I loathe them. Loud, bright, and pointless. 
Is my anger a product more of Marcus, or do I truly feel this way? He's been gone for a whole year today. I miss him so much. July 6, 1984. I must be imagining things. I was awoken by Marcus's voice today. I must be going insane. Cabin fever, perhaps? I haven't left my home since his passing. His brother, Jeremy, is my only contact to the outside world. July 9th, 1984. Jeremy has been acting different around me. The way he looks at me, like how Marcus looked at me. I must confess I look at him similarly. I'm falling in love. July 28th, 1984. This time I know Marcus is watching me. I was in bed with Jeremy and I got a huge chill down my spine. All the pictures of him I have shattered. Glass was everywhere. I fear for my life. Man. Some grim stuff. It is a little, uh, dark. So what about my experience with uh, ghosts and why I don't typically play these kinds of games. Uh, when I grew up, my house I lived in was haunted. And I used to hear all these same kind of noises and see things in the middle of the night. I mean, I was a kid, but man, I was scared to death. I lived with my grandparents and uh, my grandma always got mad at me because I'd uh, leave all the lights on all over the house just because I was scared something was after me. Well, one night... Great. The battery's low. Well, I can at least charge it by my bed when I'm sleeping tonight. But as I was saying, one night when I was laying in bed, it attacked me. And, yeah, it just uh, was not a pleasant experience. I couldn't breathe, and I was just surrounded by this white cloud. <coughs> oh, shit. That door wasn't open a second ago. What the hell? We gotta lay down. Oh. Oh, shit. Seems hard to make enough, though. What is that? The mannequin just moved on its own. Oh, that's creepy. And I'm not even sitting here in the dark and I'm freaked out. If I was this dude, I would move out as soon as possible. I wouldn't stick around this place. Not for a fucking day. Look, I didn't move that. You all saw it. Oh, 
Oh, Marcus, Marcus, leave me alone, please. That's just me. Oof. stuff to interact with. Uh, what's this? June 27th, 1983. Marcus came home from work today seeming really flustered. When I asked what was wrong, he yelled at me and threw the bird's cage to the floor. Poe was our first pet together. July 1st, 1983. I don't understand why Marcus has been so stressed lately. I know being a teacher is tough, but the least he could do is talk to me about it so I can help him. July 4th, 1983. Fireworks are going off. Marcus hasn't returned home from work yet, and we're going to go watch the fireworks together. Another lonely night at home, just me and all the wine I can find. July 5th, 1983. I got the call today. The police found Marcus dead in his own classroom. I have trouble even thinking about this. It hasn't even fully sunk in yet, I suppose. My husband is gone forever, and I never got to say goodbye. Huh. So her husband dies. Starts haunting the house because... She's sleeping with his brother. That's interesting. He is a creepy artist. He deserves to be haunted. Frankly. Ooh, a Ouija board. That's not good. Leave. Let's lay down and see what happens tonight. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, that's awful. raining well we're gonna cut it off there for right now um we'll definitely check back and uh, play a little of this some more and see where this story is going uh if you like this game and it's something you want to check out check it out on steam like i said before i'll throw the link in the description and uh yeah maybe next time i'll scream a little more we'll see have a good night everyone Thanks for tuning in. I hope you are enjoying watching my videos as much as I do making them. I'm still new at this, so please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see in the future. I'll see you next time.